Hey Out of Drumming community, it's Andy here and it's about time that we get back to one of the topics we've dealt with before, snare drum heads. When we did our snare drum head comparison video, a lot of you asked for a second video that deals with Evans drum heads, so here we go. In this video I want to give you an overview of the different models they offer, how they work, what's special about them, and I hope that in the end of the video you know everything about the Evans snare drum head series or line, that you're able to find the perfect drum head for the sound that you're going for. So to get this thing started, it's the same as with the first video, we keep the microphones the same, it's an M201 on top and an MC740 uh, below the snare. Once again, I'm going to talk you through the different drum heads and in the end of the video, we will have a direct comparison of all drum heads and this time it's going to be more than last time. Another important thing to mention is that we've also once again used our TuneBot to get all the drum heads to the exact same pitch so that you have the best possible comparison. Now, before we get into the different drumhead models, let's get one thing out of the way, just as last time, the difference between a clear drumhead and a coded drumhead. If you're looking for a snare drumhead and you want to play brushes, forget about clear drumheads because the smooth surface just, there is nothing a brush could create sound from. So, Go with coated ones. Also, coated ones sound a little warmer since there's just, I mean, it's the same construction. Both are G1 drum heads, but the coating adds a little weight and it's, yeah, just makes it a little more smooth. Now, of course, talking is one thing, hearing it is a different thing. So, here's a small comparison between the coated G1 and the clear G1. And after that, we'll jump straight into single ply drum heads. So, as you've witnessed, the clear drum head is more ringy, has a little more attack, and the coated one is just a little warmer. For the rest of the video, we'll stick to coated drum head. And as you'll witness in just a second, there's different coatings. First drum head is the G1. You've heard the, the coated and the clear version now. And this is like the standard, standard drum head. Single ply drum head is perfect if you're looking for an open tone. If you want to manipulate the tone with muffling afterwards, you don't want to have that much of a pre-shaped sound. You just want an, an open snare drum that sings, that gives you all the options you need. G1 is your choice. Now, if we look at more single ply drum heads, the second one we need to look at is the UV1. Special about the UV1 is the coating, the UV coating. It's a lot more durable and it's also a little smoother if you just compare it back and forth between the G1 and uh, the UV. Now, this drum head is also a 10 mil film, just as the G1. So, from this side, they're kind of pretty similar, but the coating makes a huge difference and adds a lot of durability. But still, you have the open qualities and everything of a single ply drum head. So, for jazz playing, for whenever you're looking for an open sound, those will work great. Another single ply drum head we need to talk about is the calf tone. And this one really does look different. This drum head mimics the qualities of a calfskin drum head just as the name calf tone says and it looks pretty vintagey. So if you're looking for a classic sound, nice drum head for you. This one has a 7mm film, so it's a little thinner, but then this outer ply, this layer of textured whatever this is, adds a little weight to it. So in the end, if you just compare it back and forth, it even sounds a little muffled compared to the UV1. So this one gives you a nice warmth, a great sensitivity, 
And yeah, it's just the warmth of a calfskin drum head. So now, this was pretty much a lot of talking. Let's just hear the three in a direct comparison. Now, if single ply drum heads are too open for you, sound too open, or if the durability is not enough for your playing, um, you might have to look at double ply drum heads. And you think, okay, single ply drum head 10 mil, so it's two times 10 mil. It is not. The G2, the let's say the double ply version of the G1, features two plies of seven mil film. It's the same coating. This drum head, j just by tapping it, Sounds pretty dead. So, less overtones, less, less ringy drum head, but a lot more durable than a single ply one. Since there's the G2, there's also the UV2. Once again, same construction, two 7mm plies, but a different coating. And it sounds a little more, there's a little more tone to it. And since it's the UV coating, it's even more durable. And then, if you really want, yeah, if you need more durability, you got the ST, and ST stands for super tough. And that's what this drum head is. It's all about durability. You have two plies of 7.5 mil film, and once again, if you just tap it, it sounds almost like an EMAD. So, We'll listen to it on the snare drum, but I'd assume you'll have a pretty muffled sound, low, warm, and also if you're hitting hard, this will survive. Let's listen to the three in a direct comparison. Now it's time to look at pre damped drum heads. And some of them are in between single ply and double ply drum heads, and some of them are even more extreme than double plies, like the ST, for example. The first option I want to talk about is a dot in the center. And we got two options we got the power center and the power center reverse dot. So, what's different about those two? Both are a 10 mil single ply design, so it's just like the G1. And then here's an added 5 mil dot in the center, and here it is underneath. The difference with the reverse dot drum head, you got a smooth surface. So if you, let's say you play a gig and you have to play brushes for one song, this will work here. Mm, brushes might get stuck on this thingy here. Those drum heads give you a really nice and solid backbeat in the center, but still you got the open qualities of a single ply drum head if you play it closer to, closer to the edge. If you take this design with the center dot and create a crazy heavyweight drum head, we end up with the heavyweight. And this one is two plies of 10 mil film, so twice the G1. It's even thicker than the ST, the super tough. And you also got a dot in the center. So this one, if you're a really heavy hitter and you look for a lot of durability and a nice cutting, solid, fat backbeat sound, this might be your choice. Before we get into more pre drum drumheads, let's just listen to those three.
Now to give you a full overview of the pre-damped drum heads uh, Evans offers, there's one drum head or one drum head, let's say, category we need to talk about because I got four heads here and all derive from the genera. What is the genera? It once again, the basis of this drum head is the G1. One ply, 10 mil film, same coating, but they added a two mil dampening ring on the underside. This helps you to really cut off the overtones, the, 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 the ring that you might have, the, yeah, and gives you a pretty solid muffled sound without too much ring, without too much overtones. Now, if this one's not enough for you, they have different versions of it. And that's so cool about Evans. If you know about the genera, there's, you got like the G1, then you can go to the genera, and then they have more levels that you can add. So here we have the genera, the basic one, and then we have the genera dry. And what they added here is those, they call it precision drilled vents. So little holes where air can exit the drum shell. And this one, yeah, it's just a little more muffled. You'll hear that in a second when I play those. Now, if the vent thingy is not your thing, you could also go with the Genera HD, heavy duty. And what this is, is a two-ply version of the Genera with a 7.5 mil and a 5 mil ply. So not as thick as the ST, for example, but still a pretty solid thick drum head and with the two mil ring, it's a nice, muffled, very clear snare drum sound. If you're looking for not an open sound, but for a fat backbeat, for example. Now, if this is still not enough, or you want to combine those, there's also the HD Dry. And what this is, it's the Genera design with the ring, the vents, and the double black ply construction. And this method of like having different versions of one drum head, uh, there's more drum heads where you could have this. For example, the ST also exists with the vents. And if you just go through the, 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 the drum heads Evans offers, you have quite a lot of options to choose from. And you can really find your sound just by adding the vents, for example, or adding a second ply and you can just play around with those different levels of muffling. Enough talking, let's hear those four. Now to sum up this video, I got four more drum heads for you and those don't really fit in one of those categories. I mean, of course they do because they're single or double ply drum heads, but they're different. The first one that's maybe the closest to what we've had before is the Onyx. And this black drum head, it looks totally different from what we've seen before. But this one, the basic construction is two plies of 7.5 mil. So if you think back to the drum, uh, double ply drum heads, we had the ST and the two plies are the same thickness as with the Onyx. Um, difference here is we have what they call the frost coating, so a different coating. And yeah, also the look is pretty decisive if you go for the Onyx because then you want a black drum head. Um, they describe it as like a dark drum head with a precise attack and we'll listen to this in just a second. Now, the second drum head here is the EC Reverse Dot. We once again have the frost coating. It looks pretty frosty since it's a clear drum head underneath. The construction is two plies, 10 mil bottom ply, seven mil top ply. We have a reverse dot underneath for a really controlled, nice backbeat sound in the center. And we have this ring around here that makes this drum head really stand out because this is the SST. They call it the sound shaping technology. And they say it removes some of the muddy mid frequencies and gives you a more clear tone. 
just like a pre-EQ is what they, what they say. So let's listen to this one also in a second, but there's two more drum heads to talk about. And the first one is the hydraulic. Once again frost coating, now on a red drum head. Those exist in black, red and blue. And what we have here is a two-ply drum head with some oil between the plies. And this really muffles it to like, yeah, the max. This drum head you'll see often used for snoms. So if you want to have a snare and a tom combined, maybe tune the snare drum that low that you can also play it as a tom if you turn the snares off. This drum head has two plies of 7mm film. Now the last one, there's no plies, there's no two plies, one ply, 7mm. It's the hybrid drum head and that's a woven material. And this one is by far the heaviest drum head we had in this video. So I was pretty surprised how heavy it is and it's also really, really muffled. Even though we have all the other drum heads in only one tuning, since this one's so heavy, I'd assume it only works in low tunings, but I'm curious what it does in high ones. So I'm gonna add that in the end of the playing sequence. But now let's go through all the heads in the direct comparison. Now with all those drum heads that we've covered now, you have a lot to choose from. And in the end, it's all up to your personal taste and the music that you're about to play. If you play jazz, for example, and you need a very sensitive snare, an open tone, rather go with a single ply head. If you are a heavy hitter, if you really play loud rock music, maybe go with a double ply head or a pre-damped one. And so, no matter where you are in the spectrum, there's always the perfect drumhead for you. Now, in a second, you'll hear a direct comparison between all of them, but since I'm not gonna come back after, let us know in the comments which of those drumheads you like most, which drumhead you play yourself, and what other topics we should cover in one of the next videos. Make sure to leave a comment, and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.